Welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Chris McMahon and I'm so happy to have you here. It's actually fall right now, so I have some overalls on and a hat and I just, I feel so good. I know that it means it's gonna get much colder sooner, but that's besides the point. Today's video is one of the most important videos I think I have made in a while because it's something that comes up often for you. Fat loss plateaus. Like you hit a fat loss plateau and then the next thing that happens is you quit. You get so frustrated that you've been working so hard and you don't see your results paying off. I'm gonna let you in on something. This is something that maybe you're not aware of, but it's completely normal. You're a human. Fat loss plateaus happen. If we look at the life cycle of a diet or of a fat loss phase, the initial stages is you will lose weight very quickly, especially if you're dialed in with your nutrition, if your exercise and your movement is on point, you'll see the first couple pounds just fly off, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose. But if I'm honest with you, that's usually because you made corrections in your nutrition, but also you're losing a lot of water weight. And that's pretty normal. And then as you chug along, you keep losing weight, you lose weight, and then all of a sudden you have one day, two days, a week, where you don't lose any weight. The scale stays the exact same. And you get really, really frustrated. And you wanna quit, or you wanna cut your calories. That's fucking stupid. It's really dumb. You don't need to do that. You have to be patient. It's kind of like going to the gym and thinking that every single time you lift weights, you should be increasing the amount of weight you are lifting. But that's not how progressive overload works. And if that was true, everyone would be deadlifting a thousand pounds. That's just not how it is. The longer you've been in a fat loss phase, the harder things can become. How are you judging that you're in a fat loss plateau? Like, where is that coming from? Is it based off the fact the number on the scale hasn't changed? What about other things? How are your clothes feeling? How are you recovering? How are you sleeping? How has your energy levels been throughout the day? Are you taking other measurements such as body fat, right? If you're measuring your body fat with the tape measure and you're doing all of that, chances are you're still losing body fat even if the scale is telling you another thing because there are a lot of factors involved with that. But it's not uncommon for someone to be like, chugging away, it's been like six weeks, seven weeks, they're doing awesome, and then all of a sudden they hit this plateau. And it's not uncommon. I've had clients who are in a plateau for four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, and it's not that they're doing anything wrong. It's just more along the lines that life happens. The only way you could be sure that you need to adjust your calories if you are going to go that route is that you have been as consistent as fucking possible with your nutrition. Sometimes you might not be tracking as accurate. Sometimes you might skip a day here and there, and that's okay. But what happens is when you're unaware of that, suddenly you go from like 100% consistency all the way down to like 50% consistency. And maybe you're eating at maintenance. Maybe you're eating a slice surplus, and then you're also at maintenance. That could easily be why the scale is stalling out. So before you adjust your calories or anything, you have to go back and look at what you're actually doing. Take an honest inventory and say, okay, I'm eyeballing things. I'm not being accurate here. Oh, you know what? I'm not really moving my body much during the day. Oh, you know what else? I, I haven't been to the gym. If all of these things are stacking up and we're not hitting our goals, then it's a pretty clear indicator that your plateau is self-imposed. So there are two options here. One is you dial things in and then you check back. And most likely what you're gonna find is you're, you're gonna lose the weight. Like you just have to be patient, you have to be consistent. And here's the best thing you can do, and this is the second thing. You just gotta keep doing exactly what you're fucking doing. That's it. That's the way it works. Being consistent doesn't mean rapid results. And that's kind of the problem. What you want me to say is that there's some sort of secret that you have to follow in order to have results that happen faster. Rapid fat loss is a thing, but it's not something sustainable. And it does involve reducing your calories, but again, it's not sustainable and you'll just gain that weight back. So what you have to actually consider is, okay, if I do the things I'm supposed to do, if I'm being consistent with what I'm supposed to be doing, and the rate of weight loss isn't that fast, but I'm still losing body fat and everything else feels good, You'll see that number on the scale change. You will, I promise you. In fact, you might be experiencing what we call a whoosh. A whoosh is where you see the scale like stall out for a while, and then all of a sudden you start to feel like fluffy, right? It's this weird fluffy feeling you have in your body, and then you'll pee a lot. And then the next day you'll step on the scale and you'll be down like a pound, two pounds. 
it's a common thing that can happen, but sometimes can be really stressful when you're not aware that it's happening. If you're being consistent, you just have to be patient and continue what you're doing. Calories, do not adjust your calories. On the other end of the spectrum, if you have been consistent as possible, everything's been dialed in and it's been longer than four weeks and you have not seen that scale move at all. I'm talking like you've been 100% consistent. It's been longer than four weeks. It's been six weeks. It's been eight weeks. Well then, chances are you might have to adjust your calories a little bit, right? It could be at that point where we've reached diminishing returns. But what should you do? Should you just cut calories like dramatically? No. Take calories down, maybe reduce it by like 50 calories per day. Nothing too crazy and see how that works for you. It doesn't have to be anything nuts. You want to keep protein exactly the same. You want to keep your fiber intake exactly the same. You just bring down carbs maybe a little bit, fats maybe a little bit. It depends on what your preference is. Maybe you practice high low days where on the days you're training you have higher carbohydrate intake. On the days you're not training you bring your carbohydrates down a little bit. Again, it's just something to play around with at the end of the day. What matters most is that you're maintaining this calorie deficit, you're being consistent with it. Learn how to be fucking patient because that's what's gonna make the biggest difference for you. The number one thing that I see people doing that causes them to not make any progress at all is that they give up. If you give up, there's no way you're gonna get where you wanna go. It's kind of like you go to turn on your computer and you see the little spinning wheel of death and you automatically go, oh, this fucking computer and you slam it and throw it out the window. When if you give yourself a little bit of time, the computer eventually starts. You just have to be patient. It's going to happen. You're human. All of this is normal. And look, if you have no idea, like, if you're even in the ballpark of what you should be doing for fat loss, you just click the link below, get my full free fat loss guide. It, it is pretty top notch. It'll be sent right to your inbox. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You have notifications turned on. You give a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And comment below with any questions you might have. I'm more than happy to dive in and answer anything you could possibly toss my way. Remember, you're one day away from getting back on track and one day away from realizing how fucking amazing you are.